If the Spanish government thought breaking up the referendum would win its war with Catalonia, it was dead wrong. This crowd gathered outside the office of the ruling Spanish Popular Party denounced the Prime Minister as a fascist and the police action on Sunday as brutal. The people are defending what they have to defend. The people are ready. We will see if the government is ready this week. The reviled Guardia Civil riot squads were nowhere to be seen. The protest was policed by local Catalan officers. The firefighters, seen here as heroes, received ovations every time they arrived. The mood here is insurrectionary. They've been chanting, Rajoy must go. The streets will always be ours. The writ of the popular party, Spain's ruling party, does not run in Catalonia. At University Square, the crowds were even bigger, thousands up every side road. There is much bitterness here about the perceived silence from the European Union after what happened on Sunday. Uh, they are treating us badly. We are demanding some, some things and they are not hearing us. But they don't want independent Catalonia. They I want know. it to be a united Spain. Yeah, but we have our own thoughts and no one, and no one tries to understand what our thoughts are. So what happens now? Nothing from the Spanish Prime Minister, who has no interest in engaging the Catalans in political mediation. For Madrid, this is strictly a legal issue. That means the call from the Catalan president for talks is likely to get nowhere, and the clock ticks away on the self-declared time frame of independence this week. That is a crisis for Spain and for the European Union, and yet nobody wants to grasp the immediacy of it. Of course, if you go a few hundred metres away from the protests, the streets are quiet and the many who don't want Spain broken up get on with their lives. But they aren't the ones making all the noise. The momentum remains with the separatists.